Good evening and welcome to Obama for America. Obama, Obama for America. Obama for America. Obama for America. Obama for America. Good evening. I am Elaine C. Harrington and this evening I will be serving as your hostess for this watch election party. It's a party because yes, we have plenty of goodies to eat. But we are really going to be watching to see what is happening in the Iowa caucuses. Now, for Tuskegee, this may be a first. I am not sure. But if it is not, it will be a greatest. What does this election really mean? I would say I wanted to have this party watch because I wanted to be involved from the beginning. In the old vernacular, we would say, from the get-go. I didn't want to come up at the end. We are going to watch the returns as they are coming in from the Iowa uh, caucus. Another reason why I chose to uh, have this party watch and invite friends is because I think the, the platforms are very interesting, comparatively speaking. We need a president who is not only a national president, but an international president. And I just feel that Obama has the, the character, has the mode of behavior that will in some way help to mend fences, for lack of a better word. We have a qualified African-American young man, and I'll even say handsome young man. Amen. <laughs> young man, qualified, articulate, and I can say that. I'm not sure that I'm I here put tonight the same. to support Barack Obama for president. But my main, one of the other reasons I'm here that I'm going to discuss right now is because I'm trying to understand the procedure that goes on in our that make them the trendsetter to see, to, to, to dictate who's going to be the next president of the United States. I understand that their caucus is, is much different. Mm -hmm. uh, the procedure is much different than the, in all the other states in the, in the United States. So I'm here just to see how a little small state like our can be a trendsetter for dictating, predicting rather, the next president of the United States. Thank you very much. All right. I feel that um, I wanted to get involved in this election early because I am so excited about this particular election. I haven't been this excited since I was a young girl and I was with my mother as she was supporting uh, Robert Kennedy for election. And I feel the reason why I'm so excited is not just because he's an African American. I'm excited because he seems to be fresh and new. He seems to uh, articulate his plans. Not only does he tell you what he um, would like to see America go, he has a plan to implement the way he wants it to go. Uh, I've listened to him and he has been staunch about the war in 2002 when it was not popular. A lot of people don't remember that, but it was not popular to be against the war in 2002, and he stood his ground. And so I feel that a man that will stand his ground, he had no idea what was going to be happening in 2008, I believe, and, but he stood on his principles. I'd he came, like to say to you that Obama went to elementary school in Hawaii. And I want to say at that time, I was teaching in Hawaii. Right, so I am going to claim Obama <laughs> if he went to Punahou Elementary School. So I will research his record to find out exactly which elementary and high school he went to, because the name sounds familiar. <laughs> and I was at that time teaching in Hawaii for a number of years. So. Uh, I will find out. But this, for me, too, is a very personal issue. Uh, this is the first time I felt like we can make a difference with this election. And a gentleman said last night, at the last night of Kwanzaa, don't let anybody tell you 
that he's not electable. Uh All you need to do is go out and vote. I think our people are waking up. A lot of them will be persuaded by somebody else because they figure that because we are black, we cannot win. But I think the masses of people now of color realize the importance of putting somebody in there who can make a change. And it, it doesn't matter uh, whether we say change, but he will not only say change, but it's the time that there will be a change. And this is a time, I think, more than anything else. So I'm looking forward to a battle. And uh, we all are going to be happy. And those who are not happy will be surprised. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank God for the opportunity to be living in this time. Because this is truly a historic moment in time. There is so much support across the board for a candidate and not so because of his race as it is because he's a qualified person with the experiences that he's had in his life from being a community organizer, civil rights lawyer, senator in his state and now senator in the U.S. Congress. I think he has proven himself to be qualified. We need a president who can relate to other leaders of the world and not just a select few according to what privileges they may bring to that particular president. 17 years ago, I had the opportunity to meet him when we both were law students. He was at uh, Harvard and um, I was at Texas Southern and we